Hello, hello, more Dimmers here, and I would like to show you one more game from Magnus Carlsen Invitational uh, Tournament. And before I'm gonna do that, uh, I would like to ask you uh, for a little thing, because I have only 29% of subscribers who actually uh, watch my videos. And, uh, and it's uh, very, very strange that a lot of people uh, enjoy the videos, leave the likes, leave the comments, but uh, still you don't subscribe subscribe so if you like my videos if you follow them please subscribe smash the bell button and let's jump into the game so uh, today i'm gonna show you the game between hikaru nakamura he's ranking in rapid uh, time format 2829 in regular chess uh, 2736 but he's even stronger in blitz 2900 that's incredible but today we're gonna show a uh, big game 15 minutes per player and 10 second incrementation per move. Uh, Hikaru Nakamura is American uh, Grandmaster, 32 years old, veteran, very strong, very fast. And he has his own Twitch channel where he uh, shows stream every day. So he has a lot of experience online chess. He's gonna play as white and his opponent Alireza Firuja. Prodigy from Iran. He's also extremely uh, fast and extremely attacking player from Iran and he like to play online as well. He's ranking in standard chess 2728 and in rapid chess 2703 and he's gonna play as black and we had the controversy here already uh, because in the first game Alireza Firuja lost the connection and uh, there were some issues here so the players after debating uh, with the referees and between themselves uh, agreed for a draw in the first game and then uh, two games were won uh, by Hikaru Nakamura and this is the last fourth game uh, so uh, let's see what happened in this game Hikaru Nakamura open with e4 we have d5 so Scandinavian defense e takes on d5 queen takes on d5 uh, so pretty standard knight on c3 queen on a5 and now the most popular moves for white d4 this is the most popular number one move knight on f3 of course this is also played bishop on c4 uh, it's also okay g3 these moves uh, are usually played by most of the players and do you think Hikaru Nakamura play any of this move of course not he goes for b4 and b4 actually it's called the Leonard Gambit uh, Alireza Firuja takes the pawn so losing one tempo and we have a rook on b1 uh, queen on d6 and here uh, Hikaru Nakamura actually had this position before uh, and he played bishop c4 and after knight on f6 knight on f3 the game continue and Hikaru Nakamura managed to uh, win that game however uh, here he played d4 so a uh, quite unexpected move and uh, I would like to just tell you that more than 60% of the games with the Leonard Gambit with the B4 is won by black. So black definitely stands better here. But now what to play as black in this position? Uh, definitely Alireza Firuja maybe didn't know that, but he blitz all the moves. So uh, he was definitely very frustrated that he lost two games. He had the chance to win one of these games and, you know, uh, managed to, to win and fight in the match. Uh, but he couldn't uh, do that. So here uh, he played uh, pretty, pretty fast. However, uh, he didn't play knight on f6. This everything would be okay. c6 also is a very good move now. Uh, controlling uh, d5 square, but also uh, making a space uh, for the queen on c7. So that would be uh, good moves. However, we have queen on d8. And look at the position. Uh, queen already, we have the move number six and queen already moves five times and it's still on d8. So white uh, for the cost of one pawn 
already developed a lot of pieces because now we have bishop on c4 so knight is developed bishop is developed and even this rook we can consider as developed because it's watching on b7 so uh, this bishop can't be developed easily uh, we have knight on f6 by Firuja, knight on f3 and now e6 castle by nakamura Bishop on e7, knight on e5, so Nakamura start to, uh, you know, bringing the uh, pieces to attack, so uh, Alireza Firuja should be very careful here, he castle, so uh, he's already safe with the king, we have rook on e1, and here, this is the key moment of the game, where uh, Alireza Firuja should think a bit about the defense. Knight B on D7 is a very good move and uh, Black stands slightly better here. A C6 controlling a D5, this would be double control also. A very good move, however, here Alireza Firuja, he, he is known uh, of attacking style and he challenged the center, he plays C5. This is the, the move which actually is losing the game uh, because Hikaru Nakamura play absolutely the best move here, d5. And now it's a lot of pressure on this pawn and how to what to do now. We have e takes on d5, knight takes on d5 and now uh, the last blunder, this time is blunder by uh, Alireza Firuja, but his position is already very difficult. Uh, the best move, uh, actually, according to the engine, is knight takes on d5, but it doesn't help much, uh, because after queen on d5, queen on d5, and bishop on d5, uh, position is uh, very, very bad for, for black. What to play now? This bishop uh, is not under attack yet, but it's gonna be under attack. So something has to be played. If bishop on f6, then actually knight f7. This is very strong. And then rook can't go to f7 because checkmate is coming. So that's impossible. Uh, this is why knight on d7 would have to be played. But after knight on d6, just king h8 because of check. Uh, bishop b7 just exchange some pieces and white just stands much, much better. Extra pawn and all the pieces are very active. So uh, definitely good position for white. Uh, also, if knight on c6 trying to defend this bishop, it doesn't work and a very prosaic way uh, of winning this knight on c6 and, and then after taking c6, this rook has no escape because rook on the open uh, b file is controlling b8 as well. So uh, winning the exchange and of course uh, winning the game with the rook on b7 active pieces extra exchange that's definitely enough for winning and believe me or not but here uh, the engine shows that rook on d8 is the best move and then bishop on f7 uh, king on f8 bishop h5 and now it's very difficult for black to develop anything so for example knight on a6 is recommended and now knight f7 attacking the rook rook d5 and look at this this knight actually can go to g5 and it can't be taken because we would have the beautiful opera mate on e8. So that's already a disaster. But in this position, actually, uh, Alireza Firuja uh, still blitzing the moves and he play bishop on e6. It looks like a very good move, uh, you know, defending all the threats. However, feel free to pause the video and find the winning move, one of two moves, two moves are, are, are winning actually, uh, while I enjoy my cup of tea. Okay, ready? So uh, there are actually two moves, a knight on e7 can be played, and also a knight on f7 also can be played. Uh, Hikaru Nakamura play knight on f7 and in this position uh, Alireza Firuja resigned the game. He got uh, very very angry after this game and he just left uh, you know the, the camera, the, his, his chair and uh, he was very upset so uh, that's how this ended. Three and a half to half point 
in favor of uh, Hikaru Nakamura. And uh, what's the point? That's uh, how is this losing? First, uh, the queen is under attack. Something has to be done about that. If rook on f7, uh, then simply knight on e7 with check. Now queen on e7 and now rook e6 winning the uh, winning the minor piece and the game. Queen on d7, it's even worse because now rook on d6 and then queen has nowhere to go, okay? Uh, queen e8 and then winning the queen and of course uh, the game. So uh, that's not the option. Rook on b7 and it's even, you know, exchanging more pieces, definitely, uh, definitely winning. Uh, what else? Bishop f7, it looks uh, okay, but now we have knight on e7, Rook is supporting, so winning the piece. King h8, now queen d8, just exchange the pieces. Bishop f7 and is of course uh, also winning. And if king on f7, it's uh, it's actually uh, pulling the king uh, to the center and checkmating there. Rook on e6, yes, king can go to e6. Now uh, knight f6, king on f6, queen f3 with check and look at this bishop. This bishop prevents... Uh, uh, black king of, of getting to the safe space so king on g6 now a uh, queen e4 uh, rook f5 queen e6 with check king h5 there are not many moves here uh, bishop e2 with check now king h4 g3 king h3 and finally checkmate on f5 so uh, this also doesn't work and the last try queen just move the queen so queen on d7 also doesn't work knight on e7 and that's enough to win of course queen on e7 and now rook e6 so all of this is the same queen d7 now uh whatever knight on d6 is possible and look at this diagonal this is just crashing king h8 and now uh rook b7 and and this is just disaster everything collapsing so uh black have to move the the queen but okay there is nothing to show actually here so yeah this is why in this position Ali Reza Firuja just resigned the game so congratulations to Naka really great game and but keep in mind that this was, you know, third game uh, of the match and Alireza Firuja didn't have the chances to win it, the, the match. So uh, he just blitzes the move and then he blundered the game and uh, and lost very, very fast. So, uh, and also it was, it was quite controversy. Uh, link in the description if you are interested. Uh, I leave the link to the... Uh, Hikaru explanation what just happened uh, in this game so if you are interested also uh, please check it and if you like this video press like if for some reason you don't like this video press and like and uh, then yeah leave the comment if you want to uh, see another games from Magnus Carlsen Invitational maybe you have some favorite game I would like to hear from you and if you don't want to miss uh, any subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one